We are still in spring break season where locals and tourists alike continue to flock to our beaches. Nestled at the very southern tip of the continental United States, South Florida is best known for its sun-soaked beaches, vibrant cities, and seemingly unchanging subtropical landscapes. From the shimmering turquoise waters of Biscayne Bay to the endless sawgrass marshes of the Everglades, the region appears peaceful, almost timeless, a world far removed from the volcanic forces that shape much of our planet. Ask a local about volcanoes, and you'll likely get a laugh. After all, Florida is famous for its flat terrain, humid weather, and a reliable absence of eruptions or lava flows. There are no cones looming on the horizon, no craters marring the land. And yet, beneath this placid exterior, South Florida's bedrock tells a strikingly different story. Beneath layers of sand and limestone, geologists have detected rocks of volcanic origin, quietly marking a tumultuous past that predates Florida's modern landscape by hundreds of millions of years. Here, dark, enigmatic strata reveal clues to ancient underwater volcanic processes, processes that left their mark long before the coral reefs and barrier islands formed. During a time when Florida sat under ancient seas, its foundation was shaped in part by submarine volcanic activity. How can a land with not a single active volcano hold within it the legacy of underwater eruptions and molten rock? What evidence do geologists uncover as they drill deep into the earth or study windswept road cuts across the peninsula? Why do these ancient layers matter, not just for scientists, but for anyone who calls Florida home today? Join us as we journey beneath the sand and palm trees, peeling back layers to reveal the volcanic origins hidden in South Florida's rocks. What mysteries are waiting, locked away below our feet? The foundation of Florida, the Avon Park Formation, and ancient seas. To truly appreciate the volcanic imprint within South Florida, we have to peer back across eons, long before the arrival of mammals or even the rise of the Atlantic shoreline. The oldest rocks now exposed at the Earth's surface in Florida belong to what's called the Avon Park Formation. For most people, the name Avon Park conjures up images of small towns shaded by oaks, bustling citrus groves, and the steady hum of rural life. But in geological terms, it refers to layers of ancient sedimentary stone etched deep beneath the region. These rocks are cryptic pages in the story of Florida's birth, stretching back through unfathomable time. But what did South Florida look like during the time when these rocks formed? Far from its current subtropical climate, Florida was once submerged beneath vast, tepid oceans, its continental crust fringed by underwater ridges and in distant intervals affected by volcanic activity. While Florida itself had no volcanoes on its land, geologists believe that volcanoes existed elsewhere nearby, along ancient ocean floors, and the influence of these submarine eruptions is seen in the types of rocks and minerals found deep beneath the younger layers. It is in these ancient marine environments, millions of years before the familiar sandy beaches, that volcanic material became incorporated into Florida's foundation. Erupting underwater vents spewed molten material, which cooled rapidly on contact with seawater and became part of the strata beneath the peninsula. These events set in motion processes that would shape much of Florida's continental crust. Within the Avon Park Formation and neighboring strata east and south of the sandy ridge that defines the peninsula, geologists have identified evidence of ancient submarine volcanism. Field studies, core samples, and thin section analysis have revealed rocks showing textures and mineral signatures indicating volcanic origins, such as pillow basalts, altered volcanic glass, and fragments created by rapid cooling. Outcrops and well cores sometimes preserve a striking transition from volcanic debris to layers of serene carbonate. Cross sections through worlds 
that shifted from upheaval to tranquility. What's especially compelling about these rocks is their context. Found beneath thick sequences of limestone and sediment, they serve as the literal foundation for much of South Florida. Just as the Florida Keys rest atop coral reefs, the broader region sits atop the silent evidence of ancient eruptions now entombed beneath thousands of feet of later deposits. The limestone above, filled with the fossilized remains of marine invertebrates and ancient corals, rests inextricably atop the older volcanic roots of the peninsula. But if Florida's volcanic origins are buried so deep, why are surface rocks so different? And how exactly do scientists decipher the fiery origins of stones that have been undisturbed for hundreds of millions of years? Decoding volcanic clues, vitrifiers, and the sedimentary record. The paradox of volcanic rock beneath Florida's tranquil plains comes into focus when geologists encounter rare rocks called vitrifiers. On the surface, vitrifiers look nothing like the clean white limestone or fossil-rich sandstones so common to South Florida. Instead, these rocks are dense, dark, and glassy, evidence of lava that cooled so quickly upon meeting seawater that minerals had little time to crystallize. Such rocks are considered markers of rapid submarine volcanic activity. But how do rocks like vitrifiers end up locked beneath Florida's leisurely layers of sand and coral? When submarine volcanoes erupt, they scatter lava and volcanic ash on the sea floor. The violence of bursting lava sometimes shatters the cooled rock into jagged fragments, which then become mixed with ordinary sediments drifting through the ancient oceans. Over time, black sand, volcanic glass, and pebble-sized volcanic fragments become incorporated into lime muds, creating streaks or pockets of volcanic debris. Millennia of sedimentation buries these volcanic materials beneath ever thicker blankets of carbonate muds and shells. Over time, heat and pressure cause the mixed deposits to lithify, transforming them into a medley of sedimentary and volcanic rocks the kind encountered within the Avon Park formation and deep beneath modern South Florida. A closer look at vitrifiers reveals clues about their formation. The rapid, glassy cooling occurs only when the temperature drops so swiftly that minerals do not have time to fully crystallize, typical of underwater basaltic lava flows. Some of these rocks contain preserved volcanic glass, documenting the submarine origins of the material. In rare specimens, scientists have found evidence of vesicle, tiny bubbles left by gases escaping from lava as it cools. Yet the story can become even more complex. Interlayered with the rocks of volcanic origin are the fine-grained limestones and dolostones that typify South Florida's subsurface geology. These record-changing environments at times, turbulent volcanic seabeds. At other times, tranquil, shallow marine platforms where carbonates gently accumulated, fossilized shells, the delicate structure of coral colonies, and rare microfossils provide a silent record of alternating eras of life and geological turbulence. How could violent submarine eruptions and gentle sedimentary deposition, seemingly opposing forces, be preserved alongside each other? And what mechanisms drove these cycles of disturbance and calm, leaving behind a complex mixture of rocks that challenges simple explanations? Submarine volcanism, explosion beneath ancient seas. To unravel this paradox, imagine South Florida during the time its foundation formed, a world covered not by land, but by shallow seas, resting atop restless undersea crust, the rocks beneath South Florida trace their origins to a time when submarine volcanoes dotted the ocean floor, hidden from sight, yet powerful enough to help shape the platform on which Florida was built. Unlike the dramatic explosive cones of modern volcanoes found elsewhere in the world, submarine eruptions typically transpire below thousands of meters of water, where pressure and cold temperatures change the way lava cools and solidifies. Lava can form bulbous, pillow-shaped structures and sometimes be shattered by the explosive release of water vapor, producing glassy volcanic debris. 
These rocks differ from the ash-laden remains of land eruptions, but tell a story no less dramatic. As pillow lavas and fragments accumulated, they sometimes provided the initial substrate for later shallow marine carbonate platforms, which now support the region's extensive limestone beds. Over millions of years, tectonic shifts and changing sea levels meant that volcanic layers could become deeply buried beneath new sediment, recording a rhythmic interplay of upheaval and calm. What clues remain for geologists today? In the ancient layers beneath Florida, the preserved minerals, such as olivine and pyroxene, volcanic glasses, and altered lavas tell of this volcanic past. Chemical fingerprints, trace elements, and isotopic ratios link some rock fragments to their origins in underwater volcanoes that once dotted the region, helping build Florida's geological identity from the remnants of far-gone eruptions. Evidence suggests that these volcanic episodes did not involve the explosive terrestrial eruptions familiar from places like Hawaii or Alaska but instead quieter submarine events whose deposits were soon buried by new sediment. Still, their fragments can be found carefully identified in drill cores as geologists piece together the story of an ancient oceanic foundation. Impact events and subterranean mysteries, the Miami offshore crater. South Florida's geological story does not end with volcanism. Recent studies point to the tantalizing possibility of a large impact crater located just off the coast of Miami, beneath the waters of the Atlantic. If confirmed, this structure could represent a major extraterrestrial impact event, adding another chapter to the region's ancient history. While the full details of this feature are still under investigation, geologists use techniques like seismic profiling, core drilling, and mineralogical analysis to look for evidence of impacts, particularly shocked quartz or melt rock, which indicate extremely intense heat and pressure. So far, the presence of a crater offshore Miami remains a topic of active study, but the finding underscores how South Florida's foundation has been shaped by more than quiet sedimentation and volcanic activity. If an event of this magnitude did occur, it could have altered ocean currents, restructured marine environments, or left abrupt changes in sediment layers reaching inland. Such impacts might also contribute to changes in ocean chemistry, with effects echoing through the geological history of Florida. For now, this offshore feature stands as a reminder that Florida's subsurface may yet hold more secrets of cataclysmic events. Buried stories, fossils, fibers, and the preservation of the past. As geologists explore the deep rocks beneath Florida, they find traces of ancient life, sometimes preserved in astonishing detail. Among the remarkable finds are fossilized remains of plants and fruits, with the microscopic structure of their fibers sometimes visible millions of years after burial. In one such case, researchers observed fossilized fruit whose preserved fibers suggested the fruit likely exploded to disperse its seeds. The preservation is so detailed that it allows scientists to study both the biology of ancient species and the processes that led to fossilization. What do such fossils reveal about Florida's history? Rapid burial, as might occur during volcanic or other sudden events, can preserve organic materials that would otherwise decompose quickly in the humid, subtropical climate. Over time, minerals infiltrate and replace some of the organic matter, leaving behind a durable record of life in a harsh world. Each fossil preserved in Florida's rocks, be it marine invertebrates, shells, or fruit, adds a piece to the puzzle of how Earth's ecosystems evolve and respond to dramatic environmental changes. The juxtaposition of volcanic layers and rich fossil deposits further illustrates the complexity of this region's geological history. Even in a landscape now famed for calm beaches and swaying palms, the rocks beneath tell a far more dynamic story, one in which violent geologic events and rapid biological changes took turns writing the chapters of South Florida's deep past. Monitoring the legacy, modern science, technology, and volcanoes. While Florida's volcanic past lies deep and dormant, its study remains both fascinating and essential. Modern geologists use sophisticated tools, satellite imagery, seismic surveys, 
and detailed 3D models based on core drilling to reconstruct the evolution of Florida's bedrock by piecing together evidence of ancient volcanic activity, impact events, and fluctuating oceans, they help clarify both the region's deep history and its practical challenges today. Understanding Florida's subsurface is not just academic. The population of South Florida relies heavily on the water stored within underground aquifers, especially the Biscayne Aquifer, which is largely contained in porous limestone and dolostone. The presence of older volcanic layers, fractures, or mineralized zones can strongly influence how water flows, how aquifers recharge, and how contamination moves underground. Urban planners, utility engineers, and environmental officials all benefit from insights gleaned by geology, avoiding pitfalls and protecting resources for millions of residents. Beyond the scientific realm, public awareness of Florida's geologic history can foster appreciation and stewardship. Understanding the natural forces underfoot, the volcanically influenced bedrock, the aquifers, the fossils, strengthens a culture of curiosity, resilience, and respect for the land. From cataclysm to calm, the enduring threads of Florida's ancient volcanoes take a moment to reflect on the improbable transformation Florida has seen across deep time. From a realm shaped by submarine volcanic activity and possibly ancient impacts, beneath the sand and palm trees, the ancient rocks remain patient, silent, ever-present, supporting the aquifers on which life relies and storing secrets of a world in flux. The forces that created volcanic rocks like vitrifiers now underpin freshwater systems and the rich ecosystems flourishing above. Fossilized fruits and preserved fibers bear witness to bursts of adaptation amid environmental change, a testament to life's endurance through countless upheaval. Perhaps most astonishing is the sense of perspective gained by exploring Florida's geological story. Who could guess, wading in the surf at Miami Beach, that below lies evidence of rocks formed by submarine volcanism, or that offshore may rest the scar of a colossal impact? Who would imagine that the lush green Everglades, as geologists continue to investigate, sample, and interpret these old rocks, new questions arise. What other volcanic relics lie undiscovered, missed because no one thought to look a little deeper or reconsider the puzzle of the rocks beneath their feet? And how do the threads of volcanism and distant impacts continue to shape modern Florida, not only as remnants of a bygone era, but as ongoing influences beneath our homes and habitat? The mystery lingers, layered deep in South Florida's ancient strata, a permanent reminder that even the calmest landscapes are the product of incredible drama, change, and resilience. What do you think, Explorer? Could your own backyard hold ancient geological secrets? Has the story of Florida's hidden volcanic past changed the way you see the ground beneath your feet? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey deep beneath South Florida, uncovering the fiery origins and ancient mysteries that lie beneath the familiar. Stay curious, keep exploring, and don't forget to subscribe for more hidden wonders and stories from our planet's ever-fascinating past. In our next episode, we'll move from ancient seas to upland surprises, unlocking more secrets as we continue our exploration. See you there.